Everyone, open the Titanic deck and set. We are going to put it on the workspace. Okay? At the workspace. Okay. Now, first thing first, maybe we want to run some basic statistics about our data set to see some frequencies or stuff like that, right? So we go to the node browser and we run the basic statistics. Okay, we double click on basic statistics and we will edit the parameters. You can see the <coughs> link that the control, like the control. Now variables. If we are running a simple frequency, we select all of them and we continue current selection. We want the frequency table. We go to quick result. Okay? Quick. And we click. We tick the box. Everybody following so far? Okay. If you want to make a graphic comparison, it's up to you. You decide, okay? Advance. What do you want? Do you want to know the confidence interval, the variance? So, it is based on the problem at hand to decide what you want to know. You as the researcher, you are in control and you decide what you want to know. Let's say, I want to know the variance, coefficient of variation. Mm, standard error? No. I don't want to know minimum and maximum. I don't think it's okay. And then I click OK. And I go. Do you see the play button? That's where you run the analysis. And then prepare the result for you. Mm -hmm. That's very automatic. So you double click the result and you can see the district statistics. Mm -hmm. How many cases? 2,201 cases. Their mean, mm -hmm. variance and standard deviation are all here. Mm -hmm. Now frequency table by class, okay? for all cases. We had how many classes, if you remember? How many classes? Huh? What was the first class? First class? Second class? First class? Got it Okay. So this is the frequency table by class. Okay. Oh, you shot. And if you want it by age level, okay, let's go back to our analysis, okay? This time around, after we get the frequencies that we need, okay? We can also, for those of you who would want, for example, to analyze the variance, you can run some ANOVA tables easily from what you just got earlier. So, <coughs> If you select an ANOVA, okay, this is the ANOVA table. If you want the main effects, you can double click here and you link it. You link it. If you want to link it, there are two ways. You can either make a white right click on it and you say new connection from this node or Okay, or you just draw it from here. You see? Where you see the small square, you just take the connector from there. Okay? Now, you're going to have to select the variable. Remember I said for some analysis, you have to double click on the data file to select the variables. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Everyone following? What's the hell? I go back. 
We want ANOVA. We want to run ANOVA, right? This is the ANOVA here. Now, let's say I want to run the main effects ANOVA. I double click on it. Okay? Question? Everybody following? Okay. Because we don't have a lot of time. We need to read the classification. <coughs> okay. Now, to select the variable, you double click on the data file. Double click on the data file. Okay. Now we show only show the appropriate variable. What is our dependent volume? And what is our predictor volume? That's where I ask you to know when a data is categorical, when it is continuous. Okay? Now let's go back to our PPT because I already prepared those for you. For a quick description, okay? Okay. What kind of analysis are we doing? Can anybody tell? We are learning what kind of algorithm now. We are doing We are considering rules for what kind of problem? Is it classification that I said earlier? Association. What did I say earlier? Is it classification? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm trying to trick you, eh? <laughs> so, remember, we are extracting rules to lead us to a classification. But not classification like a regression tree or something. This is about <coughs> the a priori algorithm, okay? To solve a kind of classification based on a rule that has been established. Now, earlier I gave you one example of a rule, or one example of a problem. So I said, what is the possibility Okay, now, is everyone following? No. <laughs> Go to data mining. Okay. Are you following? You got it? Hey. So, yeah, is everybody following? Now, we are going to select our volume, right? our problem. We say, what is the possibility for a male pertaining to the third class and being an adult to be surviving or to survive or to be missing. So normally I want to predict the missing value, right? So this is the survival that I'm looking for. Yes. All right? And let's say I want him to pertain to which class? Yeah, 
okay. Now for the codes, which is all the codes, okay. For the codes, you click on codes and you select all. Codes and you select all. And you click on okay. Right? Yes. Is it okay for everyone? Yes. Okay. Now, we run our analysis. So no rules is generated. Now what I want you to learn from there, because no rule is generated means we didn't select anything. We have to select, we have to select the confidence, the support, etc. But before I let you understand that, there's one reason I let you choose, I let you, I lead you to the to this error. Why? Because we have many rules coming all together. This would correspond to a linkage problem, a link analysis problem. Okay? Not a simple association rule problem. Do you understand? Because Earlier we were talking about symbol association, right? So I tell you if we have product A, product B, they come together, blah 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 blah, right? But now we have many different conditions that would be working together, right? So it is a simple association.
Up <laughs> advanced. 